When I was eight months old, my parents were told that there was an 80% chance I would not live to the age of two. Now I'm 17. My name is Ryan Calder, and I have type 2 SMA. But why does that matter? Just because I have a life-limiting condition, I don't have to hinder my dreams. I'm currently a senior in high school, and I'm planning on living on campus at ASU next year. Yes, without my parents. Yes, I know I'm disabled. It's not going to be easy. I know that. But honestly, nothing in my life has truly been easy. All throughout elementary school, I was the king of the campus. I had lots of friends and did not recognize that I was any different from any of the other kids. As soon as middle school started, I was thrown into a deep depression and I still haven't fully recovered. I realized that not being included was much harder than it seemed to be. It wasn't that I was being bullied, it was that no one invited me to be their friend. On top of that, I had all the physical demands of being disabled. With doctor's appointments and homework, I never had the time to have a social life. This still affects me to this day. It is the physical demands of being disabled that would eventually shape my personality into being an introvert. At the beginning of high school, I promised my parents that I would try to not be an introvert, but the first day felt exactly the same as the first day of middle school. Everyone was staring at me. Luckily, I knew I would have at least one friend. That was enough for me. Even though I've had all of these hardships, I'm still happy to be here today. I have a bright future ahead of me. I'm thankful for the countless opportunities SMA has brought me. I've been able to go skiing, shoot an AR-15, and meet some very amazing people. Most people with SMA believe that they have to spend their life collecting government paychecks. Most people with SMA believe that they could not go down a double blue diamond ski slope. They believe they could not shoot an AR-15 and be very accurate. They believe that their life revolves around their parents and they will never be independent. While people with SMA can never be truly independent, there is a possibility of them being independent without their parents. My main point is, just because we're disabled, it doesn't mean we can't do anything extraordinary. If you want to be an engineer for the Navy and live 20 hours away from your parents, go for it. If you want to go hunting with your dad, do it. If you want to go skydiving, why not? My only advice is, don't be afraid of a challenge. Be excited about it. My Nana once told me, the only difference between fear and excitement is how you look at the challenge ahead.